So how do you ship a big battery like the EcoFlow Delta Pro? This one is a huge 3.6 kilowatt hour battery. So we went to FedEx and FedEx told us that they will not touch the battery in terms of packaging. And that was a FedEx shipping center, which has all the boxes and stuff, right? Where you can buy bubble wrap and boxes. And they, number one, didn't have a box that can handle 100 pounds. The biggest box they had is 85 pound capacity and it's huge, so we have to cut it down. They won't touch it all. So then we went to Home Depot and got this box and some foam and some tape. And right now this cost us about $42 of material. So the bubble wrap was $24. The box was $9 and the tape is $5. So that's all the stuff that we have here. Because in order to use FedEx to ship it, we can ship a big battery, but we have to go to the, the FedEx official shipping uh, factory, not, not, the, not the drop ship center, not the privately owned FedEx um, shops. You have to go to the big one. And at the big one, they don't package for you. So they only will ship things if you have it already packaged. So that's why we have to go to Home Depot. We bought the box, we bought the bubble wrap, we got the tape, and then now we're gonna put the EcoFlow Delta Pro in. And it's very important that we measure everything. So this box right here is 27 inches width. We got 15 inches depth and 16 inches high. It's just perfect. The EcoFlow Delta Pro is gonna fit within that box. So let's go ahead and put it together and hopefully we will be able to do everything in our car and just go to FedEx and drop it off because this EcoFlow Delta Pro has got to go somewhere and we need it shipped today and we've been running around all day because FedEx didn't like us. Yeah, so yeah, let's go. Here we go. So first thing first, let's put the box together and this is an extra heavy duty box. So it's pretty sturdy, a little bit windy here, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold up the bottom here. Whoa, it is windy, it is windy. So fold up the bottom, let's get, put this in here and then we'll wrap it up like this. Here we go. So you always wanna line up the corners right here. So it's kind of tight right there. And here's the tape and we got the tape with the, the cutter right on it. So that way we don't need to get scissors. So we're gonna do this on the road. This is like nomad shipping style, right? Nomad shipping style. All right. Wow. This is very. This is this is a good stuff, guys. This is box lock shipping tape. Really good because our battery is a hundred pounds, so we needed some heavy duty tape. So we're gonna get this tape right here. We're gonna put it under here. There we go. And then we're gonna use this tape to tie down the box. So I'm gonna squeeze it right here. Get it nice and tight at that corner there and then keep it tight in there we go nice and tight and tighten it down here all right so get some length right there good so for good measures let's get another one on the side right here actually yeah just make sure make sure we, we, we tape this box real good all right because I don't care about using too much tape I don't want this box to fall apart during the shipping. So, lots of tape here. There we go. Tape it up over here and tape it down there. Okay, we'll put more tape when we put everything in and we'll wrap it around a few times. Oh, this thing is so heavy. I may not be able to roll it around that many times. Oh, maybe I could. I just roll, 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 roll. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. But first, Let's just make it sure it's even. It's a little bit more taped, okay? Because we're gonna do some rolling action, but I, I do wanna tape this really well here too. Right there, tape that side. Yeah, all right. And then we'll tape this other side right here. I don't know about you guys, but when I was little, when my parents used to show me how to pack shipping boxes, they like to tape the inside of the boxes too. I don't know how, how sturdy that is. Uh, that might be just like an old myth when, they, when we're young and we didn't, we didn't use a lot of tape. So we try to make the most use of the tape. So yeah, I guess you can put some tape in here for some good measures, right? So why not? Let me know if you guys think this is a waste of effort right here. Putting tape in here and making sure it seals really well, right? So I don't know, is that, is that a waste of tape or is it, is it good to have this? But anyway, I'm putting another piece here because tape is cheap. The EcoFlow Delta Pro is not cheap. That is a huge power bank and it's an amazing power bank and it's gonna go to someone that's gonna make a lot of good use out of it. So we're gonna make sure we package it well so that they can receive it well and then make good use out of it. 
So the height of this thing is just barely high enough. So we're gonna put some foam, uh, some packaging material on it, but we may, we may need to worry about, let's just put it here, just for, for fun, a little Easter egg for them. <laughs> All right, so this one, we wanna put a little bit of foam on the bottom, like bubbles, bubbles, I call it, call it foam, but maybe some, some, some on the bottom right here, but we're definitely gonna need it on the side. So, yeah, on the bottom is good like that. Maybe go up here, and we'll get two layers of bubble wrap on the bottom. Um, we might not have enough for the top. So let, let me just, let me see. Maybe we'll go one layer first, and if we have room, we'll go on the top. Okay, so here, let's get, put this right here. And what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna stick this onto the box, just so it doesn't fly around. It's windy today, that's why I need to stick this. Otherwise, you wouldn't need to stick bubble wrap to a box, but we're sticking bubble wrap to a box because it's windy, all right? So, all right, here we go. And then we'll, we'll, we'll keep this one here, because I don't wanna tear that. Then we'll keep it one piece. Now, we get the EcoFlow Delta Pro and we lay this behemoth of a battery in this box. Oh my gosh. Uh, this thing is literally a hundred pound, guys. It's heavy. It's very heavy. But it's crazy capacity, so it's worth it. Oh, make sure my back is ready for this one. It is heavy. It is heavy. <sighs> one second. Oh my gosh. Ah. 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 All right, here we go. In you go. Oh, my back, my back, my back. Oh, okay. Move it centered. Okay, there we go. So you see how the top just fits right over? We have no space to spare at the top. So we're gonna have to package it really well on the side. So I think we're good there. So maybe now what we're gonna do is just gonna bubble, bubble wrap as much around it that we can. So I guess it doesn't matter if I cut the top or not because you know what? Let's just get enough of the material here and I'll cut it here. The thing, the thing about these is they should be terrible. Otherwise we're screwed because I didn't buy scissors. What? Yeah, no, see they're perforated, they're perforated. You see right there, there's a perforation and we'll find another, oh, I'll just use this one. See how nice it is? No scissors, no mad packaging my friend, no mad packaging. So I'm gonna slide this over here a little bit and this one's falling apart. Stick that to the box and then push this down here. All right, hopefully this box can handle a hundred pound weight. Oh yeah, okay. So now, now we start packaging the bubble wrap as much as we can pack in there. Here we go. Bubble wrap it. So just wrap, bubble wrap, bubble wrap, bubble wrap. See, we got a very tight box. So hopefully it doesn't move around a lot in the box, but I will say, it doesn't have a lot of um, impact resistance, if you know what I mean, right? There's not a lot of bubble wrap at the top nor at the bottom. So there's not, there's not a lot of resistance on the top and bottom. But this battery power bank from EcoFlow should be able to handle it. We're gonna pack the side here. We got side here too, right? So we really pack the side in. And hopefully it can make its way across the United States to its new owner here. All right, so we're packing the EcoFlow Delta Pro with all this bubble wrap. You see how we got so much bubble wrap? We need this stuff. Oh, I'm pushing the box out too much on the side. We don't want to bulge out too much there. All right, so we got some here that bulge back in. That's good. So we're gonna start going on to this other side here. Maybe we can tear this somewhere here. So it's perforated, so we can tear it. All right, where's the preparation for the tearing? Tear here? Nope, yeah, right here. See, boom. And then we can leave this side over here. So hopefully that would protect the side. Now let's get this other side here and that should close in, yeah. All right, so let's get this side and put bubble wrap all the way down to the bottom. There we go, and work our way up. Fit as much bubble wrap as we can because I don't care about the weight of the bubble wrap. I care about protecting the EcoFlow Delta Pro. Oh my gosh, it's windy like crazy. Here we go, we're packing it, packing it real well. All right. So if you guys wanna buy this stuff, you can get from Home Depot, but I'll also drop a link to where you can get this on Amazon too, because you can get general shipping stuff from Amazon. And get the ones that you can tear. I think all of them can tear 
<laughs> because that's, that's really nice. So we can kind of package it with no scissors. All right, so it's looking pretty good, right? It's looking pretty good. I feel pretty good about that. Yeah. So if I, if I go like this, no, I probably want to put this down first and then put this here and then tape it. Yeah, it's pretty solid. It's pretty solid. Now maybe add a little bit more foam, still more bubbles because there's still room for bubbles here and protect the sides here. All right, so, oh my God, it's so heavy. All right, so let's go ahead and use a little bit more. We're almost out of the, the bubble wrap. Can you believe we use almost all of it? That's crazy. All right, so we're gonna use some, some here to protect the handle. Because underneath the handle, there's some space underneath here. So you see right there, there's some space underneath here. So we're gonna stick in some bubble wrap underneath there to protect the front and back of it of the Delta Pro. Because guys, I honestly, I'm gonna miss this a lot. This thing is powerful enough to charge our Tesla. It's charged, it, it charged our Cybertruck. It's crazy. Yeah, it's 3.6 kilowatt hours, so it's a smaller capacity than the Cybertruck, but it works as like a small gas can for our Cybertruck, so that's pretty cool. All right, uh, here we go. Get more bubble wrap here. Now we're going to the small pieces. We get, get another one over here. Really using up as much bubble wrap as we can to make sure we package this the best we can. All right, maybe underneath this handle over here, we gotta get some bubble wrap underneath there. Uh, tear here, tear, 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 boom. All right, go underneath here. Yep, some good bubble wrap underneath there. Oh yeah, it took that like a champ. All right, let's get some on the side here. Yep, a little bit more bubble wrap on the side. Look at, we're almost done with the entire roll. All right, I didn't think I used this much, but glad I got this much. All right, so we're wrapping it up right here. Maybe a little bit more here. And just make sure we can still close the box, right? So we don't want to do it, don't want to put too much bubble wrap where we don't want to close the box. And I don't know if you're OCD, you want to be a little bit more neat on the bubble wrap. I think neatness actually goes against you here. I think the crazy structure that we have here give it more rigidity in terms of like different type of absorption ability. Maybe, maybe not but we're almost out of the bubble wrap. So it's funny, because we're gonna use the entire bubble wrap. I, I didn't think I would use the entire roll, but I think we're gonna use the entire roll of bubble wrap, that's crazy. So some on the top right here, to give it some extra protection at the top. Save that for the top layer, and then maybe a little bit on the side. And that's it, that's the entire roll of bubble wrap. We used the whole roll. All right, so we're gonna nest this in, and, and then that's it. Close this down. Oh, this one will go down. Close it down right there. And we'll close the side. Yes. And this is where we squeeze it together and then we can tape it. All right. Here we go. A little starter tape. And then we're gonna pull this part in. So here, here's where you wanna really use a lot of effort to like get the cardboard to line up. So you have the, the best, the best um, structure, integrity, when everything's lined up. Oh yeah, there we go. This is some good tape too. Very good tape. Yeah, the Scotch Box Lock Shipping Tape from 3M. This stuff is the best stuff you can get for packaging these boxes. And I like that it's clear, so it looks good. All right, that's the starter. I wish I could pull that in a little bit tighter. Maybe I can. Maybe I can pull it in a little tighter. If I, if I put some tape here and I use this to stretch it. Yeah, see, stretch it. One man operation, one packaging, one packaging person operation. All right, so that looks pretty good right there. I'll do the same thing over here, stick it down and then use the weight of that. Pull this, push this down right here. There we go. So it bubbles up a little bit. I hope they, I hope they don't mind that if they do. Shoot, they might, they might not like the fact that it's bubbling up too much. Let me, let me take some off here so it's flat at the top. I think they're not gonna like it because it doesn't stack. It's important to stack because when they ship stuff, they, we wanna make sure that it stacks well. So let me undo this. Let's remove a little bit of tape. Uh, re remove a little bit of bubble wrap because I don't want to have it bulge up too much. That's not gonna be good. All right, we got this though, we got this. We have a plan. We'll take out a little bit of this foam here so that it won't bulge up so much at the top. 
All right, I just want to use the whole roll, but I don't think we need the whole roll. So we, we don't want to bulge up at the top. So all this part right here, just nest it down. The only part that should be bulging up is just this, this one layer of bubble wrap and that's it. Yep, see? So put that down and hopefully now, yes, now it's much flatter. Perfect, okay, perfect. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that, I'm happy with that. All right, let's stick this again, same procedure. Now it's easier to get it to line up because the box is not so, so wide. So I'm gonna cowboy this box right here and push it together. There we go. Yes, so much flatter, much flatter. All right, and then now we can go ahead and the long tape right here, pull this and boom, like that. Same thing over here, pull this up and tighten it up and boom, like that. Yeah, all right. Now, from the front here, we want to pull in. So I'm going to put some tape right here. Oop. So I'll get some tape right here. And there's a carrying handle here. Maybe, maybe we don't want to cover that so people can carry it a little easier. So we'll, we'll tape from here. And we'll pull this in. Yep. And go over here. Again, we don't want to cover the handle. There we go, so that's good. But we do want to have some lateral per, um, lateral integrity. So what we do is go from here all the way over. And we're gonna start rolling this box in a moment. So I'll, see, I'll leave that for now right there. But this is where we do some rolling. So we got this tape here, over here. All right, so here's that rolling action. So what we're gonna do is we're not gonna cut this, well, I guess we can actually, it's okay if we cut it, but we're gonna do some rolling action. So, oh, like this, and then get the tape this way. See, and go here, and get this coming down here for more strength. We can continue to roll it actually. Eco Flow, Delta Pro, oh yeah. Roll it. Oh yeah, so we can we can actually have one continuous roll of tape. Oh yeah. See, that's strong. All right, I like that, I like that. So now, we're gonna do the reverse over here. So we'll get this tape here and reverse roll it and make it really strong here. Reverse roll that, yes. Pull it up in here and reverse roll this. What is that, a rock? All right, there we go. Now, reverse roll again. Ah, uh-oh. Oh no, scuff the car, no! It'll buff off, it'll be fine. All right. Okay, reverse roll up again. Ugh. 100 pound guys, this is a workout. Ah. My back is killing me. All right. All right, that's looking pretty good. That's looking pretty good. So I'm good with that. Now let's do some cross rolling. You know what I'm talking about? So let's get this thing over here. We're gonna protect the, the lateral sides here. This one is not so important. I'll save that for later. What's important is this side here because it, it, it's the top and bottom. So this one's easy, see, I don't need to roll this one. I can just tape like this over here and continue all around like a Christmas tree. There we go. So that's gonna protect the box from splitting apart this way. There we go. So the only thing splitting apart is my roll of tape. There we go. All right, so continue there. And then we can actually just spiral down and just use up all this tape right here. Yeah, and we're just spiraling down like a Christmas tree all around. So we're gonna continue to go all around this box. Keep going, keep going down. There we go. Man, if FedEx asked me to open this box, it's gonna be crazy. I'm gonna get mad at them because I'm gonna have to buy another roll of tape. We are taping this 
we are taping this real good, you see? We are taping it like a Christmas tree all around. Super secure box taping. Here we go, continue all around. You see, it's one piece, so it's strong. And we're just kind of, kind of going down there and then continuing over here. We're halfway done. I'm glad I don't have to keep moving the box around because that's heavy. I'd rather just go around the box. All right, uh, but there we go. Here we go. All right, we're, 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 we're making our way through the bottom here. All right, now I think, yeah, I can, I can go a little bit more. Because going, going lower is hurting my back. So I'll, I'll, cut, I'll cut it off, I'll cut it off right over here actually. So I'm gonna cut it right here. Boom. All right, that's pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna flip the box up and do the other side. So we got, oh, that's pretty solid now. So if I flip the box up, we can work on this, this kind of side piece right here. Oh my gosh. Ugh. <sighs> okay, so around here, tape this part. Yeah, right there. Yep, heavy duty large box. Good, tape it around and around. All right, okay, good. All right, I mean, there's one more dimension, this, this, this area right here. We'll go two shots around and then I think that that's a wrap. Look at that, we're using almost all the tape. All right, so we'll go from here and get all this, boom, over here. Don't cover up the handle so people can use the handle. That's important. Turn this, drop that down. All right, and then go over here. Use the handle, lift up. Oh my gosh, this thing is heavy. Hurt, hurt. Oh. Okay, and then you see it matches up that seam. And that's one way around. Let's get another one here. Here we go. Here we go. Down here. Okay. All right. And up. Wow. All right. I'm doing only one box. If I have to do another one, I need a break. Cause this is intense. All right, push this one down. Ugh. All right, over here. And that will be a wrap right there. Yeah, we use pretty much all the tape. Save this just in case the FedEx store needs me to uh, modify it. Look how far we are from a car, guys. All right, now I gotta bring it back. So I'm gonna put this down, load up the box and head to FedEx. And remember, only the main center can take batteries that are big. Unless you're talking about this little battery pack, all the small FedEx store cannot, cannot ship batteries. Uh, let me see if I, can, if I can carry this. Get this to put my hand in, right there. Yeah, you got a little handle for the hand. Nope, I'm not carrying it. You don't carry when you don't need to. All right, oh my gosh. Woo! This is a workout. Okay, here we go. Should have two people carrying this thing. Woo! Oh my gosh. Work those quads. Quads, shoulders. Core, oh, this won't even close. I don't think so. Slide this aside. Ugh. The remaining materials, barely anything left. All right, let's go ship this baby. To the FedEx main center we go. FedEx shipping center, here we are. So get the Delta Pro, it's ready to rock and roll. 100 pounds, gosh, here we go. Mm, it's gonna be a workout. It's gonna be a workout. Ugh. All right, we're gonna have to figure out a way to close the car. Uh, put this down here. Ugh. All right. Close up our car. 
and then we'll get the box into FedEx. Oh, label. I need the label. I need the label. All right, we got our shipping label. Probably put this one in my pocket. And let's get this box in there. This is my workout. Oh my gosh. We got this. We got this. We got this. Ah. You guys okay we film here for a vlog? You okay with filming here for a vlog? We're good? Okay, thanks. Oh, are, you, are you okay with filming here for a vlog? As I'm shipping this off? Cool. All right. We're going to put this up there and let them ship this 100 pound battery. Oh my gosh. Can I slide it on there? Oh my gosh. Help me up, brother. Woo. Oh my gosh. All right, so we have a pre-packaged label. Oh my gosh. Yep. He's... What is the battery to? It's uh, EcoFlow Delta Pro, 3.6 kilowatt hour battery. And like, what is it for? Like a... It's just a small uh, solar generator. So it's a big battery pack you can take with you camping, hiking. Oh. It's got 110 volt DC output, USB-A, USB-C. It can last you like a week. It can back up power your house. For like yeah. the people who like live in their yeah. van. Off grid, yeah, yeah, van, yeah, van life. Van life, that's it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like I, I took it to the other FedEx store. Oh, yeah. The one on the, next to Starbucks in Marina. They're like, nah, yeah. we, ain't, we ain't gonna touch a box. So then I had to go to Home Depot. We filmed the whole thing. I bought the box, got the bubble wrap, got the tape, right. did all that. And we're like praying that you don't give us any trouble. Cause this is gonna take way too long to ship. Set, oh man, that, that easy? Mm -hmm. all right, Thanks, man. brother. All right, take care. You too, bro. All right, don't hurt your back because I think it's 100 pounds. All right, yeah. all right, my friend. All right, have a good day. Well, that's it. We did it. We shipped the package. The EcoFold Delta Pro is on its way to its new home. And uh, what should we replace it with? We can replace it with the EcoFlow. Delta Pro Ultra. Oh, that'll be interesting. Well, anyway, that's a wrap. We're out. Peace. Bye.